Hi family, Freya from Afro Life Wealth here, bringing you another video. I hope you are well, as am I. Now today's video is a, a, a video on yoga. It has been a while since I have last posted, so I thought I'd better get my skates on and start doing something and upload something for you. And we are continuing with the Chakra series. Chakra being those seven vortexes, vortexes of energy that pulsate and generate within us along the spine. And we have so far done um, Maladhara, Swadhisthana, and now we're going to do Manapura. So today we are going to do yoga on Manapura, which pertains to the, it's the third, obviously it's the third chakra. And the area that it usually resides in is within the solar plexus. So that's this kind of, this region here. And it relates to certain organs within the body, such as the pancreas, the spleen, uh, the duodenum, and yeah, those various organs. And it's about being confident. So it's your confident power uh, that's emitted from this area. So when you awaken that chakra, you're really homing into your confidence and your empowerment. So that's what we will be doing when we do these um, postures within the yoga session. And obviously with these chakras, you can have the blockages. So it's about unblocking them so that they work in unison. They work in sequence because what we are doing is actually raising this energy, starting from the root chakra. Then we're going to the sacral, sorry, the sacrum chakra, which is just below the navel. And then we're rising even further up to the Manapura, the solar plexus, till we reach the crown. And um, yes, yeah, so that's what we're doing. So I hope you will participate within this session. Do as much as you can. And I'll be guiding you through this. And I hope you enjoy. Let's do some yoga. Okay, come on to your mat knees are bent and begin to slowly lower your back down onto the floor. Fingers are interlaced behind your head and your feet are hip width apart. Inhale and begin to raise your right knee up and then swivel your right heel and rest it on your left thigh. As you exhale, bring your knees up towards your chest and then bring your forehead towards your knees and curl in and hold position, breathing normally. Slowly lower down your back and then lower your feet down. I'm going to peek that on the other side. So raising your left knee, swivel your left heel and rest it on your right knee. Inhale and as you exhale begin to bend your knees towards your chest and then raise your head and torso and curl into a tight ball. Hold the position And then slowly lower your back down and lower both feet down onto the floor. Draw your arms forward and extend your legs. Raise your arms behind your head. Inhale. Bring your feet together. And as you exhale, you're going to raise up 
and balance on your sitting bones and then extend your legs. If this is too difficult, bend your knees. Hold position. Hold. Bend your knees and slowly lower back down. You're going to repeat this again. So inhale. And raise your arms behind your head. Hold the breath. Now as you exhale, begin to lift your body up, extend your legs and hold position. Like I said before, you can bend your knees if you so wish. And then slowly lower back down onto the floor. Part your feet and just rest in Shavasana for a moment. So lifting out of that, come onto your knees into tabletop position. Making sure you've got your positioning correct. Bring your knees together. Inhale. And as you exhale, you're going to lift that right heel up and extend your left arm out. Hold. And as you exhale, you're going to draw the knee and the elbow and tuck yourself into a ball. Extend out. Inhale. Hold, exhale, drawing the knee and the elbow and the forehead in. And then extend out. And slowly begin to lower your hand and your knee back down onto your mat. We're going to repeat this on the opposite side now. So inhale, lifting your left leg out and your right arm. In front of you, hold. Exhale, drawing the knee, the elbow and the forehead into a tight ball. Hold position. And now extend out. Inhale. Exhale, drawing in. And then extend out. And lowering your hand and your knee back down onto your mat. Get your positioning right. Curl your toes under. We're going to do cat and cow. So inhale. Lifting the head up. And as you exhale, you're going to raise the spine and draw the forehead in. Tucking the head in. Inhale. Lifting the head. Concaving the spine. And then exhaling, drawing the forehead in, raising the spine up. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale again. And exhale. Point the feet behind you and sink the tailbone down. Begin to stretch the arms in front and lower the head. Come into Balasana Child's Pose for a little rest. Some deep breaths in and deep breaths out. Now begin to rise up and come onto your forearms, lifting up. Come into elbow plank position, really engaging the belly and remaining firm in the position. This is really good for your core. Now begin to rise up onto your palms into traditional plank. And then lower down onto the forearms again. And raise up again. 
and lower back down onto your forearms. This is really good for the arms and the belly. Rising up again onto your palms. Back down. And slowly sinking the belly down onto your mat. Feet together, palms just by your shoulders. Inhale and raise the head and torso up. Come into cobra position. Hold. And begin to lower back down. Forehead to your mat. Inhale again. Going to raise right up. Lifting the head and torso up on the exhale breath. Hold. And begin to lower down. Tuck the feet under. Lift up. Come onto your knees. And then rise up all the way into downward dog. So you're going to inhale, lift that right leg up, bending at the knee, holding the breath. And now drive that knee into your chest, really using the core, and lift that left right leg back up again. Hold, and slowly begin to lower that foot down. I'm going to repeat on the opposite side, so inhale. Lifting the left leg up, holding the breath. Bending that left knee, driving that knee forward. Lifting back up. And then lowering that foot down. Get your position in. Lift one arm, the right arm. Grab that left heel. Really twist at the waist and slowly placing that palm back down. Lift the left palm, grab that right ankle, twisting and come back to your position. Now begin to walk the feet up to your palms. Palms in Namaskar, inhale, lifting up with a flat back. Come into Tadasana. Slight backward bend if you so wish. You don't have to. Palms to your chest. Inhale, lifting the arms up over the head. Bending at the knees and come into chair posture. Bending the elbows and now bring your right elbow over to your left knee. Palms in Namaskar, twisting at the waist, holding position. Really get that twist in. Bending as low as you can. Begin to stretch the right palm down, or the right arm down, and lifting up that left palm and staring at your left palm. Really twisting as much as you can at the waist. Come back and now come back to center chair position. I'm going to do this on the opposite side. So you're going to twist and bring your left elbow to your right knee, palms in Namaskar. Hold. And now stretching that left arm. Placing left palm by your foot and lifting your right arm up and staring at your right palm. Palms together and come back into chair position, lifting up. Now come to the front edge of your mat. Inhale and slowly begin to bend and lift that right knee to your chest. Step it back. Inhale and come into Vera 1, Warrior 1. Stretch it as high as you can go, the arms. Slowly move into Vera 2. Watch your position. Come 
come back into Vera 1 lift that right heel and step and begin to tilt forward and lift that right leg off your mat come into Vera 3 really hold the position you don't have to lift your leg up as high as I am and slowly place that right foot down on your mat and step it forward and come into Tadasana. I'm going to do that on the opposite side now. So inhale and lift that left knee up. Exhale, step that left foot back. Get your position. Inhale, lift the arms over your head. Exhale, come into Vera two, arms stretched out, twist again, lifting the arms over your head, lift that left heel off and step, and lift that left leg high, the arms out in front, come into Vera three, and really try to hold the balance here. Hold, slowly drop that foot down and step forward and placing that left foot by the right. Come onto your mat now coming towards the end, feet are apart and begin to lower your back down onto your mat, arms away from the body, palms facing up and allow the head to just rock to where it wants to and just lie in Shavasana, corpse position and just relax. Understanding and accepting who you are is a lifelong process. The third chakra can help you move swiftly and efficiently in the right direction. A strong sense of self frees you up to get things done. It helps you to exercise your personal power in the service of building a better life for yourself. This power chakra has a reputation for being selfish, a selfish chakra. Unfortunately, doing good things for oneself has been associated with the idea of being selfish. To truly be helpful, loving and effective in the world, you have to be autonomous, able to function fully as a whole person, knowing and understanding yourself. It is essential for a healthy third chakra. You can't go through life pretending to be someone else or constantly leaning on others and expect to succeed at it for very long. Being who you are is a birthright. It is not being selfish. It is more like being self-focused. I hope you enjoyed doing the Manipura Yoga. Please look, learn and like. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. Leave any comments or suggestions in the comment box below. So, I bid you good day. Be beautiful, be happy and be blessed. Catch you later. Bye. Have a wonderful day.